Oh yeah, that's a big one. <laughs> Yesterday, one of the trail angels that was giving rides back and forth um, actually tagged me on a cupcake. Ashes and stickers have already bought the same thing, so they woke me up this morning with Hostess cupcakes and a lighter candle. So we want to go to Mike's place for dinner tonight. This trail angel's house who basically lets you make your own pizza. It's like the hikers all kind of help out making them. And then we all eat pizza and drink beer and stuff. Um, so I think that's going to be a really cool way to spend my birthday. I'm excited. We've got about 12 miles to get there, and then we're going to try and hike out. Apparently it's quite the vortex, which basically means when hikers go in there, they don't come out. Stickers and big bar. For some reason, they're doing handstands. The Are those sparkles? Yeah, yeah so we so were adding sparkles. I love it. I love it. I mean, I want to hike 24 miles for my 24th birthday, but I don't think we're going to make it another 20, 12 miles, so... Ooh. It's like 8 a.m. It's supposed to rain until 2. We drive from 2 till 8 and then rain again. It's 20 miles to Paradise Valley Cafe. So, it would be ideal if we could get there before 7 when they close. It was raining all this morning when we were trying to get out of our tent. And mine was pitched so wonky because we night hiked so that we could get out of Mike's place. Um, I really wish I'd taken more videos of that place. It, whew, it was weird. And my fingernails ended up like this because why not? It's like something straight out of 70s movie or like Breaking Bad. There's these trailers like randomly all over the place. I don't even know how to describe it. I think it's something you just have to experience and I would warn you that it was the weirdest day of my life, but also would encourage you because it was the weirdest day of my life. Yes. For water caches, yes. We're dead. So much rain. It's cold. We have 10 more miles before a burger. It's gonna be worth it. All right, stickers, what do you have in your uh, little resupply um, there? So I have beer, Oreos, reduced fat, Christmas. Monterey Jack, because I'm eating a lot of cheddar, so I thought I'd switch it up. We have a bag of caramel candy, Colossal Crunch. I have some pita. Um, I have some cheese, 99 cent pies. Oh, and I have a bunch of mayonnaise packets in my pocket. An entire bag of sea salt and vinegar chips, instant coffee, a pasta side, an avocado, carrot cake for breakfast, some baby food so I can get some fruit and some wine so I can get some fruit. We finally left Idlewild after two zero days, three nights, and like half a day this morning pretty much just to get to the trailhead. Idlewild was absolutely lovely. Everyone there is so, so nice to hikers. We stayed at this place called The Bunkhouse and this guy named Flashy Raj and his wife own it. Her name is Anji. And we were telling Raj when we were coming back from town that we had wanted to get tattoos because we saw a tattoo studio. That's when he let us know like his wife was a tattoo artist. And he was like, oh, she'll probably give you tattoos. And he asked her and she was like, yeah. So we went down to their little basement, her little basement studio two nights ago. And she tattooed Ash's stickers and me. That's it. It's three dots, three dashes and three dots for SOS. So crazy. What in the heck is happening in the desert? Oh God, grateful for frog talks. Wow. Supposed to be in the desert. Oh my God, this is insane. I don't even like half 
the allegation we're gonna get yet. It feels good to finally be hiking in the sun again and be hiking period after like two zero days in Idlewild and then a short 10 mile day in the hill and snow and then full zero in our tents so that we wouldn't have to get wet again. The sun is finally back out. It feels amazing. I can see San Jacinto. So that is San Jacinto. And that is what we will be summoning tomorrow. Today is just going to be time spent getting there. So we're just going to do like a 22 mile day to get to the base of it. We had to go like a mile off trail this morning to get water. And it was like a whole downhill thing. And now it's a whole, oh, this is really pretty though, at least. Uphill thing. And I feel like I'm carrying freaking Madame Zeroni up the mountain right now. <sighs> supposed to go. There's a rock slide directly in the way. So I'm gonna wait for someone to get here so I don't cross it alone. How you feel? Great. We'll call that a summit. tell where the trail is if you're the first person on it after a snowfall. It's like, it could literally be anywhere. What is this luxury? Steps? And the PCT? What the heck? Oh, these are my feet after hiking in the snow all day. Gross. Like when your socks are frozen inside your shoes. Oh. Lovely. So, Stickers and I summited San Jacinto yesterday, which was awesome. But then the PCT miles after that were like super rough. And then this morning, I think, was the roughest mile in the PCT I've had so far. It was really icy. I mean, it was, and it was really cold, and like, I'm still wearing like all my layers. Um, but, but now it's all down now, and there's dirt on the ground, and it's all downhill, and look at that, there's clouds. We're at the level of the clouds. That's so cool. Well, it was supposed to be raining, and it's not. It's not raining. <laughs> it's a win today, and my eyes are super puffy. Probably because I slept with my beanie over my face. Oh, wow. Let's do this. We got to knock out 22 miles today to get yeah, to Cabazone. 20, that means we get in and out. Woo! Happy birthday to you. Ooh. Nice. Big bar. Explain your trail name. I feel like I didn't quite earn it, but uh, it means to go off and have sex. Why are you called Cold Fry? I could say cold fry with my uh, peanuts. What does that mean? It means you put a, put the oil in there without actually frying it. So he eats <laughs> olive oil. <laughs> Drenching <laughs> peanuts. <laughs> so <laughs> gross. Pyro, why pyro? I nearly lit, lit my rain jacket on fire. It's yours. SOS, 
because I spilled soup on the sand and then I ate the sand on the soup. Why you should not just release your Mylar balloons into the fucking wilderness. Now I'm gonna pack it out. Oh, it's a gender reveal balloon. Even fucking worse. I'm so angry. People suck. Mile 200. That's it. Woo!